All right, so just a really, 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 really quick video here. In the last tutorial, we saw that we started these sessions and we passed over this session variable from sandbox.php. We set it right there to the header. So when we load up a new page, the header is on every page. We're going to run this code. We're starting the session and if the query string in the request in the URL equals no name, then we're going to unset that session variable, right? And down here, we're saying name is equal to the session name. So say, for example, I'm on the sandbox page. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to go Sean submit. Now I'm seeing that right here because we're setting the name equal to that session variable in the header and we're outputting that name right here. However, we saw that when our query string was no name up here, let me just do that, no name, then although the name's gone, which is fine, we also get this thing right here, this error, and that's not very nice. So we need to combat this and we're getting that error because we've unset this session variable, but we're still trying to set the value of this variable equal to that session variable. But at this point, it doesn't exist anymore because we've unset it. So I'm going to show you how we can combat this using the null coalesce operator. Now there's multiple ways to do this, but I think this null coalesce operator is going to be the best way to do it. So the way it looks is this, the name is equal to this. And then we do double question mark and then another value. So guest, for example. Now the way this works is we're setting a variable equal to one of two things, either this value right here or this value. Now, if this value exists, then it's going to set this variable to this value. Now, if this value does not exist, right, or returns false of any kind, then it's going to look at the next value and say, okay, well, I'll set it to that instead. So this, if you like, is like the default value, a backup value that it takes on if this doesn't exist. And we do that using this right here, double question mark. How simple is that? So now, even when we unset this right here, if we type in no name to the query string, even though this doesn't exist, it's going to fall back to this backup option, guest, the name. And when we output it in the template down here, it's going to say, hello, guest instead. OK, so that's like a nice backup option. And this is the null coalesce operator. So let me save that. And I'm going to go back over here to this page. I'm going to say Mario this time and submit. Now, if we go to question mark, no name, then press enter. Now we get hello guest and we don't get that horrible error at the top. All right. So like I said, really, really quick video, but I hope that demonstrates that this is a nice way to set up a backup option for a variable when we don't know for definite if the first value exists.